Hello and welcome to Garage Avenger. This is part two of the Batmobile build. In part one, I wore my genitalia. And I contemplated giving it all up because I made a mistake. Uh, why do I do this? In this episode, I'm gonna show you that you always need a bosom for a pillow, not a desk. And we're going to continue the Batmobile build and it's going to be awesome. So let's do this. Let's go make some shit. Let's do it. Right, the brake problem. The brake levers need to be up here uh, so that they get enough leverage and the foot pedal can be as far forward as possible. Otherwise, my daughter was eating her knees. Hey guys, uh, this is where I'm supposed to show you the footage of the finished brake modification. Uh, but either I lost the footage or I didn't take it at all. So sorry guys, <laughs> let's just get on with the next bit. I'm Batman. Um, yes, Batman says, so let's build a seat. I just realized how cool I look with my microphone. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I've decided that I'm gonna upholster it. So, <laughs> man, I'm an idiot. Why do I do this to myself? Now for those men who think sewing's not cool and it's just for women, when you make a Batmobile, that's cool, I think. Yeah, sewing's cool when you're making a Batmobile, let's be honest here. Yep, that's, uh, that's how it goes. So, without further ado, let's get sewing.
time, motherfucker. I definitely didn't do things the easy way, let's say that. But I'm pretty stoked with the results. It's got, that looks way better than any plastic piece of shit chair that I was ever gonna put in there. But there's something still missing. I've really gotta work on this interior. 